Hello everyone, my name is Wall Street, and today we're here to watch Stephen White Hysteria stand-up. This was recommended to me by Ryan McDonald. Hopefully I may pronounce that right. And this comedian, I have no clue who he is. So this is going to be really interesting. Hysteria. A lot can go down, and a lot could happen. But in the day, it's so much fun to react to. Let's begin. Thanks. Good. Okay, that voice th does not match that body. I'm sorry. <laughs> I expected a little bit more waspier voice from him, but higher pitch. Interesting. Food poisoning today. I don't know when I'm going to use it. Walking down the street, there was a sign stapled to a telephone pole. It said, reward, lost $50. If found, just keep it. <laughs> Every morning, I get up and make instant coffee, and I drink it so I have enough energy to make the regular coffee. <laughs> One time, right in the middle of a job interview, I took out a book, and I started reading. The guy said, what the hell are you doing? I said, let me ask you this. You're in a vehicle and you're traveling at the speed of light, and then you turn your lights on. Would they do anything? <laughs> he said, I don't know. I said, forget it then. I don't want to work for you. <laughs> Sponges grow in the ocean. That kills me. Ah. Oh. I wonder how much deeper the ocean would be if that didn't happen. <laughs> That's a good point. I got a new dog. He's a paranoid retriever. He brings back everything because he's not sure what I throw him. <laughs> Went up to a tourist information booth. I walked up and I said, yes, yeah, so uh, tell me about some people who were here last year. Woke up this morning, I was folding my bed back into a couch. I almost broke both my arms because it's not one of those kind of beds. Okay. Hermits have no peer pressure. So I can confirm. The police next time they stop you. License and registration, please. Hermits have no peer pressure. License and registration, please. Whenever I think about the past, it just brings back so many memories. <laughs> License and registration, please. There's a fine line between fishing and just standing on the shore like an idiot. <laughs> oh my god. All right. License and registration, please. It's another word for thesaurus. <laughs> See the cops start crying. My favorite chair is a wicker chair. It's my favorite chair because I stole it. I was at a party, a very crowded party, when no one was looking. I went over to it and I unraveled it. <laughs> I stuck it through the keyhole in the door. The girl was in it was almost killed. <laughs> my girlfriend hates it when we take a bath together and I practice skipping rocks. Bought some land, it was kind of cheap, it was on somebody else's property. <laughs> Bought an ant farm, I don't know where I'm gonna get tractors that small. <laughs> Bought a cordless extension cord. <laughs> Bought a decaffeinated coffee table. Can't even tell by looking at it. <laughs> Whenever I pick up someone hitchhiking, I always like to wait a few minutes before I say anything to them. And I say, so, uh, how far do you think you were going? <laughs> Put your seatbelt on, I want to try something. What the fuck? I saw it in a cartoon, but I'm pretty sure I can do it. <laughs> I 
My grandfather was on the first submarine ever, rather than the periscope. They had a kaleidoscope. <laughs> My God, we're surrounded. I used to spend time with my grandfather. When my mother was going to have another baby, she would send me out of the way and make me spend time with my grandfather. He was completely out of his mind, totally insane. Every day, he made us stand in a little room together, side by side, looking straight ahead for three minutes without talking to each other. He told me it was elevator practice. I mean, that's fair practice, so. Now, sometimes they'll be on an elevator with someone. I'll say, did your grandfather make you do this too? They'll say, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> if you shoot a mime, should you use a silencer? Uh. My grandmother was also insane. She had pierced hearing aids. <laughs> Unscented perfume. What? In a little empty bottle. <laughs> One time she says, Stephen, come over here. She said, here's five dollars and don't tell your mother I'm giving this to you. I said, it'll cost you more than that. <laughs> I like to tease my plants when I water them, I water them with ice cubes. I like to skate on the other side of the ice. I like to reminisce with people I don't know. I'd like to fill my tub up with water, then turn the shower on and act like I'm in a submarine that's been hit. <laughs> so I was in bed with my girlfriend reading the secondhand diary that I bought. You know the pajamas with the feet? I just had the feet. You know when you put a stick in the water and it looks like it's bent, but it really isn't? That's why I don't take baths. What the fuck? She said, let me ask you this, and I said, what? She said, if you could know how and when you were going to die, would you want to know? I said, no. She said, forget it then. <laughs> Thanks a lot. That was interesting. Not my style comedy, personally, not my style, but respect for anyone who likes that. Anyways, while you excuse me, I got to rethink how to do monotone comedy. Peace.